Let us look at free response question number three for from the 2017 AP statistics test. A grocery store purchases melons from two distributors. We got J and K. And for the J, they provide melons from the organic farm. The distribution of the diameters of the melons from distributor J is approximately normal, which is important, with mean of 133 millimeters and standard deviation of 5. And now we got A. For a melon selected at random from distributor J, which was just described up top, what is the probability that the melon will have a diameter greater than 137? This is easy to do. We know mean is 133, standard deviation is 5. So all we want to find is the area from the right of what? Right of 137. And you can use this using your calculator. If you got TI-84 or TI-83, or TI you can use normal CDF, normal CDF from, from what? 137, 137 to 10 to the 99s with mean of 133 and standard deviation of 5. And that should get your answer of 0 0.212. So that's the answer for A. Now let's look at B. Distributor K provides melons from two organic farms. The probability is 0 0.8413 that a melon selected at random from distributor K will have diameter more than 137. Let's write that down. Probability of diameter, let's call that D, more than 137. 137 given that it's distributor K. Distributor K Distributor K is 0 0.8413. And uh, what else do they give you? Uh, we, uh, for all melons for the grocery store, 70% is from J and 30% is from K. So we know when we got melon, distributor K is what? How, what percent? 0 0.3. And distributor J is 0 0.7. Another thing to realize, from part A, we have found the probability that the diameter is more than 137 for a melon from what? Distributor J. So we know this probability too as 0.212. Now what do we have to find? Part B. For a melon selected at random, what is the probability that it's the diameter is going to be more than 137? So we wish to find this. An easy way of finding this is realizing that what's the probability that the diameter is more than 137 and it is from distributor K. Well, you gotta pick the melon from distributor K and from the melon it has to have diameter of more than 137. So that's the probability that the diameter is gonna be more than 137 and it's gonna be distributor K. How about it being more than 137 and it being from distributor J? Same thing. You gotta pick the one from distributor J, and the diameter has to be more than 137 given that it's distributor J. So that's gonna be the answer. And what's, what is that? 0 0.3 times 0 0.8413 plus 0 0.7 times 0 0.212 gets you about 0 0.401. So that's the answer. Now let's look at part C. Given that a melon selected at random from the grocery store has a diameter greater than 137, what is the probability that it's gonna be from distributor J? So uh, we want to find distributor J given that the diameter is more than 137. Using, since we got, since we got something given something, we know this thing is equal to probability of DJ and diameter more than 137 divided by probability of diameter more than 137. Hence, we can find this probability of dj and more than 137 is what that the probability it's d distributor j not dj is 0 0.7 and the probability the diameter is more than 137 given that it's distributor j is 0 0.212 so that's 0 0.7 times 0 0.212 and probability of it being more than 137 we already found 0 0.401 0 0.401 so the answer so the answer is let me plug this into my calculator, about 0 0.370, so that's the answer.